and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Nahama. I am starting the third pre-labor vlog. I thought that maybe I would only have to do one of them and then I would go into labor, but here I am creating a third week in my life before I give birth. So it's Tuesday, October 19th. I actually did vlog on Sunday. I did not pick up my camera yesterday, which was Monday. If you watched last week's vlog, you would have seen that I had a little bit of a rough weekend, to put it mildly. So um, it's been a little bit difficult for me to come on, get right back into the vlogging. So I filmed some clips from Sunday to show you what we did. So I will insert them right here. Oh, you're, you're video? <laughs> smells good. It does smell good. I like that even though when you're in the drive-thru, you can still get the in-coffee house experience. Oh, it's good. Oh, you got hit by a leaf! <laughs> you got leaf. Oh wow, this is really pretty out here. It is pretty. And you're really pretty out here. Oh! Okay, yeah. let's keep walking through this gorgeous oasis. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we should take a picture like this. It looks cool. Okay. on Saturday right now it's Tuesday I'm officially three days late and just no idea when this baby is coming but it will come when it decides to at the right time today's agenda going to work for a bit I keep thinking I'm gonna stop but then I'm just like okay if I'm just sitting at home waiting and waiting it just it doesn't make sense I might as well just go to work for a little after that my aunt is coming over and we're gonna have like a little brunch together and hang out I have some editing to do and then later on in the afternoon I'm gonna head over to my sister's to hang out with the kids and then we're gonna have dinner together. So yeah, that's pretty much my day and I will show you some clips if I get some. Good afternoon, my darling friends. It is Thursday, October 21st. I am officially 40 weeks and five days. As you saw from the clips yesterday and the day before, that's pretty much random bits and pieces from my day. I didn't give any verbal updates. Um, I don't even remember, honestly, every day is like a blur to me at this point, but I know I did a lot of editing yesterday. Oh, I went to the mall. Yeah, you must have seen those clips, but Today, I had a prenatal massage really early this morning and I'm telling you, it just got me so zen and so relaxed. It was amazing. It was the best way to start the day. And I actually, after that, ended up going over to my mom's to use her jacuzzi and take an Epsom salt bath like I've been doing a lot this week. I think this was my fourth time this week going there to do that. It's really been helping me heal from the accident last week and just my muscles are feeling a lot better every single time I get out. I'm just like, wow, that really, really helped. I had some lunch and now I just went for a quick walk with my sister. <laughs> And 
I'm still thinking that I might want to go for another walk because that wasn't long enough and I'm really really trying to get this baby out but at the same time probably you could even see from my expression because I feel like I I feel a little more patient now than I did before which is odd but I feel more relaxed and more just you know open to God's timing so instead of being anxious and worried which definitely a part of me is I feel like I got to a place where I'm just I'm okay I'm gonna wait and the baby is gonna come at the right time on the right day at the right hour the right minute and until then I'm just gonna try to be as relaxed and open as possible to whenever it happens so I think I'm gonna head to the lake and take another walk, maybe like another 15, 20 minute walk. Um, and then I'm actually gonna go over to my family friend again to get adjusted. I'm telling you the chiropractor has been one of the most instrumental parts in me sustaining this pregnancy in a healthy, happy way. So I, I just can't recommend a chiropractor enough. So yeah, I'm gonna go for a little walk get adjusted and I have some laundry to do later just just gonna hang out have some dinner just have a relaxing rest of the day and I'm really really hoping that the next time I pick up the camera I will be letting you know that I'm in labor <laughs> it is now Friday I just walked out of a doctor's appointment um, tomorrow I will be 41 weeks so today I am 40 weeks and six days it's October 22nd I was due on the 16th technically this appointment was super long because they put the monitors on and they needed to make sure everything was good and I had an ultrasound to check the fluid so everything looks good and the baby's just taking its time but the baby looks like it's doing very well and healthy and strong so that's amazing news this morning i did go to work i taught today and um there was actually only a few girls that showed up to school and sometimes when that happens we like go out to eat or do something special so we went out to eat this morning which was really fun we then went back to school and i did end up teaching and then i relaxed and then went to my doctor's appointment so I'm happy that everything looks good and everything's going well. We talked about possibly inducing, hopefully not, but if it comes to the point where I reach 42 weeks, um, I'll be induced the following Monday. So right now it's the 22nd. Um, tomorrow, the 23rd is 41 weeks, and then the 30th is 42 weeks. And if it doesn't happen by then, I'll be induced November 1st on Monday. So my midwife was saying that you know she thinks that it will happen naturally and it will happen you know sometime next week but it's a little bit nerve-wracking because i really don't want to be induced i just want things to happen spontaneously and naturally so really really hoping that i start to feel contraction soon and that something gets moving but i will keep you guys posted and now i gotta get back and um pretty much cook shabbos in the next two hours so wish me luck and I'll see you guys next time